Okay, now you had mentioned earlier about at one point in your life you were facing 15 years. Yeah. Um, what charge was that and how did you beat it? Well, this charge was actually a, a, a running from the cops, a fleeing and looting, two of them. And, and I'll tell you no lie, I was facing 15 years. They already told me you faced 15 years. But I'm going to tell you what happened, really. This is one reason why I believe in God, too. I ain't perfect by long shot, you know what I mean? But what happened, man, I fell to my knees. I said, God, man, get me out this, man. I'll change from that. And that's been no, I go, I go to court again. They're about to sentence me. I go to court, and they just said, Tommy Spalding, you're free to go. I ain't asked no questions. I just got the heck up out the court, and I just changed my life. Did you have a clean record prior to that? They took out my... Oh yeah, before that, before that I was doing some things, but I never it was on my record, so I didn't I never got caught for some things before that. But after that, I stopped everything, man. I stopped it. I stopped everything. I ain't I don't even want to be around it no more. Now I feel like, and that's why. I, and, and don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. I'm kind of grateful that I did go through all the ups and downs that I went through because now I could be a more powerful leader to tell the the youth to to don't do what I did. Because you might not be so lucky like I was. You might not be so blessed like I was. I escaped it. I made it out. But you might, they might bam you. Kodak Black is famous. But where he's at right now? Bobby Smurda is famous. Famous. Had one of the biggest hit of the century. But where is he right now? You know what I mean? So, so why God spared my life? Maybe it's for to help change the world. And spread the light. Spread positivity. When you were facing that charge, um, did you have to sit in county jail? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was sitting there. I was sitting there. Were you able to bail out, or did they not give you a bail? Or no, They ended up giving me a bail. Not, you know, I bailed out and stuff like that. And, um, you know, and my family supported me through the whole thing, you know. Um, How long did you have to sit for? I was there probably about a good 20 days, not that long. You know, I got out because I had some, had some good lawyers. But at, at the very end, I had to almost like fight my lawyers because like what I learned is they was all working together. They never told me that, but when they telling me, yo, you need to cop this plea and cop this plea, and I'm like, no, I have faith. I want to fight it. And they was trying to convince me to, the, the, they, they was trying to convince me to, they pulled my family members up that had absolutely nothing to do with it. Nothing at all to do with it. They put their records up and, and told me, won't you put it on this cousin? Why don't you put on this cousin? You know what I mean? I, when I when I seen all that, that they had, and the lawyers knew they had nothing to do with it, no, nah, I had to let my lawyers go. These were lawyers you were paying for. Oh, exactly. And they tried to have me put innocent people, innocent people, and they knew they was innocent. But but because I was paying them, they was like, well, but really, somebody got to take the blame. And me, I was like, no, nah, they're innocent people. I ain't like, no. Nah. So, you know, I dropped the lawyers. And I just, the only thing I had on my side was God. And he got me up. So when you faced the judge, you faced the judge without any more representation? Uh, yeah, at the very end, no more, no representation, just me. Just me. How much do you think you spent on lawyers and attorney fees and oh, stuff? Oh man, like that? I, it was it was it was a it was a good grip. It was it was a good grip. But I don't even want to get like like deep in all this stuff right here. Only only because only only because it ain't it ain't nothing to get deep in. But okay. but but if it's gonna help the youth to not do what I did, just simply don't do. It. And, and one more thing I gotta say, and one more thing I gotta say, and, and this to, and this is black folks. If you got a cop that pull you over, don't try to don't try to run. Just do what the cop say. Do the cop tell you to freeze? Just freeze. If they, I know, and don't get me wrong. I know also that we getting killed even with our hands up. But to the to the people that that the cop tell you do something. Just do it, and that and that's one reason I feel like I'm so important to the game. Because think of, think like this: if kids didn't have a father figure, authority figure to tell them to do something, then they're not gonna be listening to cops. You gotta look at it like that too. So I want to tell y'all to the cops tell y'all do something. I know I know y'all feel like y'all thug, y'all feel like y'all wild. Just do what the cops say, dude. That way you can live to see another day. It's not worth your life, man. It really ain't. And that's just real talk. Just do what they say, dude, man. Live, live to see another day, man. When you were talking about your attorney yeah. and they were telling you to cop to a certain plea or mm -hmm. something like that, what were their recommendations? Just curious. What did they wanted you to cop to? They actually wanted me to be 100% real with you. They're, what they were trying to push was for me to put it on one of my innocent cousins. That's what they, that, they really wanted. It was like they wanted 
me me to get off because I was paying them and, and I guess it made them look good if they win the case. But they was pushing I mean, when I say hard for me to to I didn't even tell my cousins this. Like this is the first time my cousin might see this and be like, what? They don't want to know about this because, you know what I mean? But they was pushing so hard to just just put on this cousin. He has a record. You know, this cousin has a record. Just just say it was him. So it's almost like they wanted me to get off because I guess it made them look good if they win. But they wanted me to pretty much put it on my cousins. And that wasn't going to happen because my cousins really didn't have nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? So What would have happened to your cousin if they... Oh, man, they would have got 15 years in prison. Or maybe maybe longer because they had more. They had, they really had records, not stuff like that. But they had different records, so they probably got longer than 15 years. So that wasn't going to happen because they was innocent. And I, I'm like I say, I'm not a bad person. That's not going to happen at all. I would do 100 years before I let an innocent person, cousin or, or a stranger, do something for something I did, number one. And, and, and two, he, the person is innocent. And that's what, this is what actually happens every single day. There's so many innocent people that's in prison right now. You know what I mean? But that's a whole nother show. That's a whole nother topic. So you go in front of the judge, and I guess, did they even offer you a, a, a trial or anything like that? You or? know, I'm going to tell you what happened. I, we were doing the trial. But I'm going to tell you, very, very end, the very, very end, before I went to the very, very end, for they about to sentence me, the very, very end, before I went, I, I fell to my knees. I said, God, please get me out this. I changed my life. That's what I said. So then I had to go see, the, I had to go in there, judge, a the prosecutor, everybody was there. The prosecutor wanted to give me, he wanted to stick it to me. For some odd reason, the judge said, Tommy Spalding, you're a free man. I didn't ask no questions why. The prosecutor was mad. I didn't ask the questions, to be honest with you. I just wanted to get up out of there, and I was free, and I, I'm not going to, you know, I ain't want to bring nothing up. Just let me get out of here, and, and I really did change my life. I'm not perfect, but I, I changed my life. 